Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with a voice that packs a powerful punch of grit and sass. This 20-year-old phenom was crowned winner in the season one in of season one of the Fox Music Competition series The Four. Since her win, she's gone on to hit stages nationwide and released a new single, How Do You Feel, produced by P. Diddy. Please welcome Evie. <laughs> And he can't seem to take his arm off. And he's fighting against his own side. What do I do? What if I lose this game with tug of war? All I want to know is how do you feel when you went home? When she cracks a smile, does it light up your eyes? How do you feel when it's all said and done? Are you in love with her? Even though you can't see, how do you feel? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Yes. Hello. And I know it's Eddie. Yeah. Oh, hi, hi, Eddie. Hi, girl. Hi. Amazing. Amazing, amazing voice. Thank you. My goodness, you oh. are just as cute as a button. Thank you. Oh, you button. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, first of all, congratulations Thank on unwinning. You. That's tough to Thank do. You. It is. Um, yes. But you have such a um, a strong voice, a gritty voice, a mature voice yes. for your yes. age. Um, has this been something that you've had to like deal with the whole? No, really, I'm 20. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, a lot. And Even... how have you grown into into your vocals? Oh, well. I grew, oh. I grew up in church, mm -hmm. and that is really where I started. That's where I discovered, like, this is just a, this is a gift from mm -hmm. the Lord that mm -hmm. he gave me. Yes, ma'am. And I, I was in Young Actors Guild, this group called Young Actors Guild. My mm -hmm. mama put me in it, and I did a lot of acting, a lot of performing mm -hmm. in a lot of different churches around Memphis. Mm -hmm. And then when I graduated from high school. Well, when I was in high school, I was a part of this academy called the Stax Music Academy. Mm -hmm. And Stax Records, it was based off of Stax Records. Mm -hmm. um, Otis Redman, yes. mm -hmm. Isaac Hayes, the mm -hmm. Staples Singers, everybody. Mm -hmm. And I just, <laughs> oh, oh, everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Everybody was, I mean, just soul music. I've always mm -hmm. loved soul music. I've always listened to it because I grew up around it. Mm -hmm. And so even when I talk, people are like, you are an old soul. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. know, competing on the floor, that's, that's no joke. It yes. just really isn't. So how did you handle the pressure of that platform? And what was the biggest takeaway you got from that experience? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I love um, it. <laughs> Um, well, being on the four, I, it was six episodes in the first season, and I came in on the fifth episode, and that was just a, a great big blessing. My prayer at first was, Lord, get me on this show. Put me on this platform just so the world can see me. And then it was, Lord, I want to win this show. All right. And I won. A lot of people weren't expecting it, but my biggest takeaway was, when I asked Diddy, I said, do you have any advice you want to give for me for the finale? And he said, don't get, don't ever get comfortable. He said, this yep. is your time to be fearless. And that is why I said, I'm going to do Proud mm -hmm. Mary because I know I'm going to tear the stage up. <laughs> I yeah. know that's right. Yes. You got to be, you got to have faith. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma and speaking of which, since you have been in this world now, yes. you know, um, it, it, it kind of thrusts you into you know, celebrity even. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is what is what is maybe one of the one things that you thought you knew about the industry before you got in it and was like, oh, okay, see, that's not the same. Yeah, yeah. I guess being so being such a Jesus girl, mm -hmm. I, I used to always hear, you might want to be a little too quiet about Jesus because a lot of people don't believe in really? him. Really? Yes. Yes, people oh, would tell me, yeah, and, and it was understandable a little bit because of like where we are in the world mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, 
if he's the reason why I'm here, why would I be quiet about it? Hello, yes, somebody. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I found on that. that. I know that's that how you Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> all these people yes. have Jesus. They say it loud and proud. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you, ha you currently have a single. Yes. Uh, how, how do you feel? How do you feel? Yes. And you're currently working on uh, your first yes, album. I'm super excited for you. Yes. <laughs> so what, what side of Evie uh, do you hope your fans and listeners experience from your project? I want them to realize that I am 21, but just because I'm young, it doesn't mean that I don't, I can't talk about love because I have been in love before. It doesn't mean I can't talk about God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean I can't have sass and attitude yes. when I perform. So I want them to feel me as a person, mm -hmm. even before I was, you know, before I got on the floor, I want people to realize, like, I am goofy, I am silly, I am country. Well, yes, I, I love that. that. <laughs> I think you're amazing. You're amazing. Thank and we you. thank you so much yes. for joining us today. Thank you. Evie. Thank you. <laughs> and you'll be in Evie's new single, How Do You Feel, yeah. on all streaming yeah. outlets. Yeah. Oh.